Valentine's Day. Best or worst moment on a past Valentine's Day for you? You know, I had a horrible time once. I got like really bad gifts, like just embarrassing gifts. How like, embarrassing can a gift be? Okay, so because, well, see, I haven't really had like a real Valentine's Day since I've been like in elementary school, but see, okay. It was the elementary school, I was buying the fifth grade, right? And there's this boy, like, he really, really liked me, but he was kind of lame, so, you know, like, I didn't want to give him no play or nothing like that, so I'm over here ignoring him, a little shit, you know, a little shit like that. <sighs> the gift was, like, so bad. Like, he brought me, like, this little... I don't know what it was. It was some, like, food shit from his mom. Like, I want teddy bears, flowers, candy. Like, it was, like, some, it was, like, a really bad dish from his mom. In the fifth grade of that. So, it was, like, I don't know. Did that you was, even, <laughs> did you bad. even, <laughs> did you even taste it? No. I was embarrassed because everybody was laughing at me and shit. Like, oh, look what he got you. And everybody else getting bears and flowers. I'm getting a <laughs> fucking dish from his mom. Like, we in fifth grade. I want a bear. I want toys. Like, Okay, so how does this work? He hands this to you or he says, I got this Actually, for Actually, the teacher what? gave it to me for him. Like, it was that big of a dish. Like, the teacher had to give it to me for him. So, you know, that's embarrassing. The teacher standing up, everybody's like, oh, what's that? Like, you know, everybody else got balloons and fun stuff, and I'm stuck with a dish. You know? So that was my Valentine's Day experience. So was that awkward after that? Or? Yeah, it was very awkward. I was embarrassed for days. For days, you know. He so, what was the was actual good. food dish? You know, I don't know. I think it was like some fruit shit. Like I, I don't know. It was. Mm. It, it just didn't look pleasable. That probably was some shade from his mama, like to leave his son alone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, stay away from my little boy. Now, okay. My question to you is: When it comes to relationships, how long should one be dating somebody before they get them a Valentine's Day gift, since we're on the subject of Valentine's Day gifts. Because sometimes, okay, Valentine's Day is on Feb February 14th, but mm -hmm. you could kick it with somebody and get to know somebody and start something going with somebody on February 1st or February 7th. That's true. I, I don't think it's a time limit on that. Like, because, I mean, it's just like a simple gift. Like, you can just have a Valentine. You can have admirers, like, you know, ain't no time limit on that. If you rock with that person, then, yeah, you can do that. Have you ever broken up with somebody before a Valentine's Day? No, I haven't, no. But I think a lot of guys do that. They want to break up with you like end of January or before Christmas or something. They want to break up with you like, no, no, I've never done it. I've yeah. heard that. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's very true. Guys do that. So they can avoid the whole gift yeah, situation? Yeah, they don't want to get you no gift or nothing. They don't want to do nothing. They watch. They finna start them arguments. They finna start all type of fights just to get out of Valentine's Day. Ain't no Valentine's Day, bitch. Ain't none of that. Like, no. Mm -mm. Now, what about Valentine's Day candy? Do you have a favorite Valentine's Day candy? No, but my favorite candy is um, them watermelon sour patches. You can give me that and I'll be happy. That's all I need. Sometimes on Valentine's Day, people are into movies. There's been several classic romantic movies out there, that sort of thing. I don't know if you watch romantic movies or you're into that, but if you are, do you have a favorite romantic movie of all time? No, I'm not really into the romantic movies at all. Like, I'm a little ratchet. Mm. I like Snow in the Bluff, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. <laughs> what about music? Have you ever released music? on Valentine's Day or a project on or around Valentine's Day before? I have. I have. You have? Yes, I have. How I have they... a song. It's called um, With You. It's very lovey, like romantic. So, yeah. How did you release that? Um, I mean... Just thinking back, was it a certain platform? Was it a certain... Was it the day of? Was it a day before? No, it was that kind of right... Um, couple weeks before like huh. getting everybody ready for it so you know you you gotta like the song before you just gonna play it on valentine's day you know what i'm saying mm. so get them ready for it okay so you might have been trying to do it early so you can be in somebody's yeah, valentine's day mix you know? maybe yes definitely how did that go for you was that would you do something like that again i definitely will do it again um it was actually one of my one of my best songs a lot of people like it better i'm more ratchet 
and that song was more loving. So, you know, a lot of people can relate to that. Mm. Now, for guys watching this, okay, mm -hmm. on Valentine's Day, any advice you would share to them? Any do's or don'ts for a guy on Valentine's Day? Do get your girl whatever she asks for. Get her what she needs. Get them bundles. Get her eyelashes done. Get her a nice teddy bear. Shit, if you got bread, buy her whip. You can buy her whatever you want to get her. Make sure you do everything for her. Make her feel special because at the end of the night, you might get treated right. And everything will be okay and tight and right and all of that. 